hello hello welcome back uh we're still doing the ranch but let's do this time uh we're going to do add doors and windows at least the exterior probably the interior too uh you don't have to draw them we're going to pull them from the 3d warehouse but you're still going to be using your existing ranch and we're going to keep building off of what we've uh previously drawn right so we already have this i would add a new tag here and call this doors slash windows that's not how you spell windows all right colors real similar who cares all right so doors and windows let's go into that tag there and uh, looking at our overall floor plan and dimensions you'll notice on the sides here on the exterior walls we have doors and windows so a door will have an opening and show you the direction of the swing uh, these doors in here are incorrect they're incorrect because the door will always open towards a wall towards the wall. So this swing should be going this way and this way and then open towards the wall. So these doors should be flipped. Don't draw them that way. See how this is towards the wall. That is correct. That is correct. It's in the middle of the room. Don't matter. Towards the wall. Correct. Right. Towards the wall. So those are incorrect. And then these slots here along the exterior walls all over the place are windows. Right. And if you actually look at the uh, render I have on the site here, it kind of shows you uh, what that would look like right doors and windows doors and windows these are placed these are oval windows that's fine you can do oval windows you can do thin long windows you can have these uh have a gap in between you can have them be directly on top like this one is back here there's no gap in between but we are going to kind of sort of make it look like this doesn't have to i just want placement of doors and windows to be pretty much in the same spot but you can put them uh the types of windows i don't particularly care all right so Tag, doors and windows, there's my full thing. I'm going to turn off my interior walls right now. I'm going to turn off my floor plan. It looks funny. I'm not exactly sure why. Someone told me last class that if you group them, it wouldn't have done this. But it's fine. I'm going to work with this. This is what we got. And I'm now going to go to the, my 3D warehouse. 3D warehouse right here. And I'm going to type in a front door. And then remember, look at your size. The size uh, does make a difference based on, you know, how well your uh, Chromebook can handle um, bringing in the file or whatever it may be. So it's only one kilobyte and it's got the two things on the side. I like it. <clears throat> Click, uh, somewhere over here is fine. Now you notice there's a bunch of other, ah, oh, different software. There's a bunch of other things around it. It has dimensions. This is all good. <coughs> excuse me um but we need to get rid of that stuff we don't actually want it there so if you actually right click on here we can explode and now if you click spacebar click away and now you can just start deleting things i'm going to delete all the dimensions it has on the outside we don't need them and now we are ready to place it into our actual wall problem is we have wall there we need to get rid of the wall before you can actually place all uh, your components Right, so if you actually look, that is glass material and you can see through it. See the difference with the line? If we just placed it on here, you just see wall. You want to be able to see through our glass. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to draw a box over here and extrude it through our wall so it gets rid of it. So I'm actually going to rotate this all the way around to this side. And I'm going to click on rectangle. I'm going to click on Zoom in. I'm going to click on the inner one here. Because then it will snap. Nope, I'm going to click on the outer one. Outer corner here and start dragging this up. Rotate around if you have to. Dragging it up to outer point there. Beautiful. All right. So now I should have done this on a different layer. So I'm going to control Z that. I'm going to switch my tags. Sorry. I want to be able to turn that off, so I'm just looking for my rectangle. My mistake. Untag. Let's do that one more time. Outer. To outer. Beautiful. Space bar to get back. Now, if I hit doors and window, it hides that. I'm just left with my rectangle. Perfect. So let me orbit this around. So I'm looking back at my front. Now I need to place this box over there. So if I actually highlight, move, midpoint is the blue, to whoopsies. You want midpoint down here. There it is. 
place it there, space bar, press pull, click on this, go in until you can't go in anymore, and then let go. Now look, I've made an opening in my exterior wall. I actually bring back my interior wall and floor plan and see through to your other walls, and that's what you want, right? So now we just need to place our door, and I had that turned off. There he is, space bar, slow molasses as molasses. So if I actually, let me just confirm here, there's still a midpoint in the back. Yes, there is. So let's move this guy. I'm going to rotate around and do this from the back. So I'm going to highlight the whole thing. I guess if you right click and make group, then anywhere you click, it will highlight the whole thing. But highlight the whole thing, move. And I'm going to move from specifically our midpoint in group. I made our group, that's why it says that now. But I chose it for my back one. I'm going to rotate around and get make sure I'm choosing the midpoint right there. Click. Now it looks like I didn't go all high enough. Why not? Eh, eh it's fine. Do I like that? Mm. Mm. I like that better. All right, now we're through the object, it's sticking through. Oh, I lied, I don't like that better. Control Z, leave it there. It looks like I should have made this rectangle a little higher. Why didn't it go higher? Oh, but it's in there. You can see in the front. So now when I zoom out, there's our front door. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go here. This doesn't have to be perfect. All right, you can mess around this forever, but make an attempt to make it look like our render. And now uh, oak doors, uh, maybe I want oak windows. Can I change it? Oak. So you can change all the colors and actually, you know what, let's do it that way. I'll make it just regular white for now. Um, 38 kilobytes, geez, 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 49. 43, fancy double with four. Does this fit anywhere? Sure. Download it. Oh, you got the whole kabang. That's uh, not helpful. Right click, explode. Right click, explode. There we go. I have to explode a couple times, get just, no, look, it does the whole, whole thing. Good for them. Orbit around, delete. Right click, explode, delete, 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 delete. They're doing the full thing. This is, uh, if we were in architecture, this would have been good. We're just in CAD 1. Has the frame on the inside too. That's nice of them. With the full sill. Jeez, this is nice. Um, um, we'll leave it like that for now. We'll put this in the wall like that. So I'm going to highlight this again. Right click, make group. Actually, could I have gotten rid of that sticker? Yes. Ha ha ha, no more sticker, and I forgot the stuff over here. Leave the cell. Highlight, make group, highlight, delete. All right, so now we have this guy. I'm clicking on this. It's in the untagged. Let's put it in window. Whoa. Doors and windows. Oh, this is from the other thing that I just made. So when you import some things uh, from the 3D warehouse, it may already have tags on it. I'm getting rid of the other stuff. If I look at this first, we would recognize that we could have gotten rid of it. But this works as well. And this is what you're gonna be doing throughout. So I'm just adding things from a 3D warehouse and now we're gonna place them. So it's important to recognize that you uh, top of doors are gonna hit top of windows. Oh, that's why that didn't line up, because I have this gap here, and I don't have that gap on the other side. Hmm. 
It's okay. So red means now a color, any of the colors means that you're actually drawing on the face you want to be drawing on. I'm just going to draw this line all the way over to the end because that is going to be where I'm going to be placing all the windows at that height. All right. So here, there, that will be the height for all of them. I'm going to leave this guy here like this. I'm going to highlight them, control C, control V, place it over there. And now we need to do our same idea with our box. So I'm going to go into my untag layer. I'm going to draw a rectangle. It's going to be like that. Space bar to get out, hide my door window. There's my box again. But we need to place him on that wall. Somewhat centered. Again, you can spend hours doing this. I'm not going to make you guys spend, wah, do this uh, for hours. Just make it look close enough to what it should be. So you want to place it on this. I actually changed my view, so I'm looking straight on. All right, does that look like it's in the middle of that room? Sure. Spacebar, click, press pull. I have to, might have to be orbited around, so it's into face, click. Look, it's gone now. So now if I turn this back on, I can highlight this guy, make sure he's a group, right? It is a group. So now if I go move, I want to go um, midpoint. midpoint there it is look the windows in all right now say I want the window to match the color of my door over there you should be doing the same thing over there so on and so forth uh, Say you want the window to match the color you go in the paint bucket little eyedropper I'm going to choose that color and then oh you need to edit the component uh, uh, edit group now to the dumper and now I can dump the color that you want. Whoa. Got to be close to clicking. Whoa. Well, there you go. It has the, oh, that's on the inside window. Whoopsies. All right. But now it's that color. I'll right click, close group. There you go. I now match the colors a little better. That thing was on the inside as well. I was messing it up there. But that's how you add it. windows and doors. You're going to make the shapes. You're going to press pull them in. Make sure you're pulling in uh, all the way around. Have whatever shapes and windows and doors that you'd like. Uh, for interior, though, what time are we at? We're already at 12 minutes. All right, let me show you interior real quick. This is a little bit different. You have to uh, have the top shape. You should be left with a foot in between the top, right? We pulled our ceilings eight feet. The front door should be seven feet. So if I go to my 3D warehouse again, and I type in door, um, that looks like an interior door. Right? Sure. Download it. Thinking about it. Place it. That's a th thick door. Fancy door. So this door, full shape, it's showing you width of the uh, wall and stuff. Make sure you move in group from the outside. But is that already correct length that'd be nice six feet eight yeah, yeah yeah sure go with it with door jam and everything doing it perfect so let's uh i'm closing materials clicking over here i'm clicking on this guy and i'm making it part of my doors and windows that was in english and i'm going to click on corner click up to corner space bar Hide doors and windows. There is our shape. Look, it made a new tag. There it was. And now we can move this and place it on our doors and our openings, right? So for, let's say, our utility wall closet, any of the spaces in between here, like these small spaces here, those are all four inches. Four inches there, four inches, four inches, four inches. So if I go and look at my door over here, right? If I just draw a little liney from here over, I'm going to type in four inches, enter, spacebar, zoom out, highlight, move from that point, whoa, and then zoom in to our point. You should get an endpoint. Look, oh, that's midpoint. There's our endpoint. Right there is four inches over. Now that's the midpoint of our line. 
That's our endpoint. Control Z. That's why it said midpoint, huh? Move. Midpoint, endpoint. There it is. Now we have four inches. Spacebar. Press pull. That in. Click. Look at it go. Spacebar. Doors and windows. There he is. Highlight him. Control C, Control V, because we're going to have a couple of these. Place it. This door is backwards. The handle should swing that way. So let's just do this correctly. Let's rotate them. Rotate. Pay attention to how you're rotating. Click. It should be blue because you're on the top. Click. Click across and then rotate all the way around. Click. Now the door handle's on the other side. Perfect. Highlight. Uh, move now is here. Move from that corner is fine because there's the corner there. And now he's inside. Look at that. We have a um, door. Whoa, 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 frozen. Make sure you save. We have a door in our wall, centered because we chose it from our group, but that's what you're going to do throughout. All right? Doors and windows throughout uh, the entire ranch. Just stick to doors and windows. Do, I guess, make it look, you can kind of make it look like this if you'd like, or not like, you should. Uh, if you cycle through, right? Their elevations, you'll see uh, the other placements and types. That's a sliding glass door you should look for. Uh, the only other one that looked a little um, unique on this sheet is this one over here is a pocket door. It's called, it's like in the frame. So if you actually search here, let's do like, if I just type in sliding uh, door, like these would be for the deck, those are the back ones. I want the one that's like on the rail, like something like these doors. It's sliding still. How about pocket door? No, no, no. How do we get that door? What type of door is that? Sliding barn door. Here, one of these. Here you go. Sliding barn door thingies. One of these, download this. This is the one that'll be in the uh, room between the master bedroom and the master bath. That should go on this wall. Oopsies. You didn't see anything I just did. I typed in sliding barn door. There it is. That's the one that should go in between your uh, master bedroom and master bath this wall here right there remember the window placement top should hit top of doors all right uh that's all i got for you today good luck have fun bye bye